five and a quarter cup of flour, I'm gonna add two and a quarter teaspoons of instant dry yeast, a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of sugar. This is optional, but I like to add a tablespoon of crushed red pepper and a tablespoon of garlic powder. Attach your dough hook, mix it up just a little bit and add a cup and three quarters of warm water. Then add a half a cup of olive oil. If you see that your dough is too dry, add a little bit more water, like a tablespoon at a time. Don't put too much. If it's too wet, add about a tablespoon of flour. And now I'm gonna let the machine do its work for about seven minutes. If you want, you can knead this by hand for seven minutes, but you could leave it with the dough hook and let it mix for about seven minutes. Okay, now you take it out of your mixing bowl and you put it into an oiled bowl. Just smoosh it around on the oil and then turn it over. Now cover it with a cloth and let it rise for about an hour in a nice warm dry place. Now take out your half sheet. This is an 18 by 13 sheet. If you don't have this you can use, you can cut the dough in half and use two 9 by 13 sheets. And what you're gonna do is pour a half a cup of the olive oil into your half sheet. Now that your dough has risen, double in size, just punch it down. That should take about an hour or so. You're gonna take your dough and you're gonna put it right on there. And with your fingers, you're gonna start spreading out your dough. See, you just take your fingers and just poke, poke it. Don't poke it all the way through, but just jab it up. And look how nicely spread out that is. It doesn't have to be perfectly to the ends. Then what you're gonna do is take your pastry brush and just brush the olive oil over the top of it. Just dip it from the edges. And don't worry about the excess oil because the bread, as it bakes, will soak in all this beautiful oil. Now cover it with saran wrap and let it rise for another hour or so just until it puffs up. After you let it rise for about an hour or so, see how it's like doubled in size? Look how gorgeous that is. Now I'm gonna sprinkle it with salt and then put it in the oven at 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes. It's out of the oven, it's golden. Look how, go oh, do you hear that crunch? Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. And there's so many toppings. This is like limitless. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I made a pizza with this once. And believe me, that was absolutely amazing. And there it is, look at that. It's just so beautiful. And you could cut it lengthwise if you want. You can cut it this way and make a sandwich out of it. It's just so good and so many different toppings. You can use sun-dried tomatoes in the bread. You can use fresh herbs, anything you like. Olives, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I hope you try this. There I go, making dough my bitch again. And don't forget to enjoy. For more great side dish recipes, check out my playlist. And don't forget to subscribe. I post a new video every Saturday.